Like and if we made our own, God damn it! Stop sneezing! <laughs> You're ruining this video. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you made to the shower. Yeah. So I guess let's just start with our Harry Potter houses. Oh, oh, Amanda, the Hufflepuff. Oh, that's adorable. Oh wait, oh, wrong way. This way. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I am also a proud Hufflepuff. Very stereotypical. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I first time I saw you, I was like, she's Hufflepuff. a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Hufflepuff straight on. Yeah. I am the lone Slytherin. But we don't discriminate. <laughs> Plus, these are my school colors. Like, legit, in college, yep. school colors. Mm -hmm. And I just, it goes well. Do you have a spoon, or just gonna, it's, it's, a, it's in here. See? <gasps> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I have a little bit of Hufflepuff in me. <laughs> it shows. Who doesn't Hufflepuff. have a little bit of Hufflepuff in them, really? Uh, Harry. True. Are you sure about that? Although, eh. Yeah. So, we have to talk about characters. Favorite characters. characters. Fave characters? Okay, alright, go ahead. Neville all the way, he is Bay. Neville Longbottom is the love of my life before he became Neville Hotbottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This 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 girl right here. Um <laughs> So you know my since I'm like obsessed with animals, I would probably have to say Dobby is my favorite. <laughs> okay. Um, Does Dobby count as an animal? I don't really think he's well, an he animal. He's, not, he's a non human. Yeah, okay. he is a non human. Oh, okay. So. Alright, I guess by that people, logic. Who needs people, right? Just, yeah. Yeah. My favorite character is Remus John Lupin. And I really have no reason why, except that he was kind of a pretty boss ass person. And oh, he's yeah. a boss ass bitch. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Bitch, bitch. bitch. I don't know that song. <laughs> uh, plus, the guy who played him in the movies was soups cute. I kind of had a large crush on him. So, yeah. All my crushes in elementary school were Harry Potter based. Let's oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Tom Felton. Oh, my God, still. Emma Watson. Yes. Bays. Yes. <laughs> Literal bays. Least favorite characters, excluding um, a bitch and Voldemort. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> You go, Lauren. Bellatrix Listerine. Well, strange. Why do you hate her? Because she laughs when she kills people and is 
like evil to the core. She really is one of the most yeah. evil characters, I would say. But see, the thing about Bellatrix, I don't like her. I admire her. I respect her. Yeah, that's the word. I don't admire her. Fuck her. But I respect her. Mm -hmm. Um, I admire her strength, I guess. Like, her tenacity. she went through all those years in Azkaban, and yeah, it was a bit kind of fucking crazy, but wasn't broken. And because she was always like that. was kind of broken, true. and so that was kind of weird. But yeah, she's not my least favorite, I guess. Mm -hmm. But who is your least favorite? You know who your least favorite is? No. Ha. I guess. Do creatures count? I guess. I don't like the Dementors. Oh, oh everybody no. hates the Dementors. Dementors, because I can talk. Um, I guess my least favorite character would be Severus Snape. Even I, though he has my head of house. See, I'd also go with Dumbledore, and I can go on a whole other rant about Dumbledore. But Snape. I have to say Snape is, because he was all like, OMG, Lily loved me. She's like, eh, no take two. And then he's like, you're a And that's a bad word to say, so maybe we'll bleep that out. <laughs> And then was all like, um, gee, I probably shouldn't have said that to the girl I like, but I'll say it to everybody else anyway. And then was pissed at James Potter, even though James was a dick also. But he was like, Lily friends on me, and he girlfriend zoned Lily hardcore. He so did. And then he's like, I'm gonna take it out on your little brat of a son who's just like his father, was actually just more like his mother, and snake. I'm just gonna go on a little feminist rant here. Friend zoning is taking away a woman's right to say no to whatever. So, just saying. Oh. Fucking oh. hate that word. Snape, Snape, Severus. Yeah, I also am not Sorry. a fan of Snape. I mean, I respect that, you know, he did some good things, but he also did some pretty shitty things. I mean, he willingly went to Voldemort and told him the prophecy. Spoiler. If you haven't seen Harry Potter, it's a big spoiler, but. If they haven't seen Harry Potter, the entire video is a spoiler. Who <laughs> been? Oh, anyway, but yeah, he went and told Voldemort all about the prophecy, even- <laughs> Sorry. This is what I think, those snakes. It's reminding me, yes. reminding me of the part in, in the first one, he's like, oh, troll bogey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> troll bogey. If, if Snake was the kind of hat, he wouldn't be a fedora. Okay, what is your favorite pairing that is canon? canon? I don't mind. Um, either or. Either or, um, because they're mostly the same. Um, my favorite pairing is the book pairing, probably of Harry and Ginny. I didn't like the movie pairing as much, just because I don't really like the movie Ginny. I don't Ginny. like the movie Ginny either. Book Ginny is way better. Yeah. So Harry and Ginny, but the book one because Ginny stands up for herself and everything, and in the movie she just kind of is there. I mean. Yeah, I understand. I get that a lot. Yeah. They don't really explain that she was her and Neville were the ones like leading the DA in the seventh movie. Jimmy was a boss ass bitch, boots, 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 boots. Yeah, really, she yeah, was, and uh, they ruined it in the movie. They totally did. You know what? I'm gonna go with classical Ron and Hermione. And do that. I like, I like Ron and Hermione. There's a couple things that I think. They would have to work through a lot to get their relationship to mm -hmm. where it is in the 19 years later. Yeah. That's um, a whole especially... different story, because 19 years later is contested a lot. Yeah, especially since, like, Hermione's still, like, a know-it-all, but not as much, and Ron has a bunch of, oh, are you happy now? You're done sneezing. <laughs> but Ron has a lot of anger issues. He does. And so I think you have to, like, he has the emotional range of a teaspoon. You have to get through that a lot. Why am I not doing this with a British accent? Because I can't do a British accent for this long. I can do a British accent. Okay, we're gonna pretend to do a British accent starting after I answer this question. I have to take this off. Too hot. It's really hot. Hot damn. <laughs> um, my favorite pairing in all the Harry Potters is Lupin and Tonks. Mm -hmm. Because Tonks was not afraid to go after her man. I wish I had that strength. 
And Lupin was like, but I don't want to hurt you, babe. And she's just like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did, and they had a little baby boy, and they got fucking murdered. But don't get me started on that, because I like to get him. It didn't happen. Same with Fred. No Fred is alive. Yeah. Fred's exactly. not dead, 2K17. When did he die? 2K17. Oh, yeah, 2017 is that block. <laughs> Is it really? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> ah! Siri, when does the epilogue of Harry Potter take place? No, not the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Just go 1998 plus, like, um, 17. I'm looking. It'll probably say. It's literally type it in. Yeah, 2017. 2017, now that we're on that tangent. 2K17, Fred's not dead. Yep. <clears throat> okay, now we have a British accent. No matter cool. what kind of British, you get the Cockney British, or you get the not so Cockney British, or you get the Severus Snape. I don't know. Severus Snape. Okay. Best line in the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, um. Favorite not canon chair? Least. We gotta go least first. Please. Least favorite canon couple. In Harry Ooh, Potter yeah. movie or book, and I know mine. Or Go ahead, I have a thing. My, I can't fucking do this. I'm Harry Because we're talking about Harry Potter, so we had to have it. <laughs> Goodbye, Sarah. Because it's made Why, Samantha? Why, Bye. Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> canon couple in the movies is Neville and Luna. No, I don't like Neville and Luna because they're not getting married to each other. Luna got married to Newt's Kimmy, Scamman for fucking Nander, and Neville got married to Hannah Abbott, and they had fucking babies together. They did not get married to each other. <gasps> okay, but they never really explicitly said that Neville and Luna were canon in the movie. But they did, guys. They like, implied. Like, I should go find Luna. True, I forgot about that. Um, unless you want to believe that they dated a little bit and then they married their own respective person. Yeah, that's all that's, that's fine. That's all the movie was I saying. I can handle that. But, yeah, I like Neville and I like Luna. And I would like them together. But they did not fucking marry each other. The movies never said they married each other, though, so that is. No, they didn't. But they never also talked about anything important that's in true. the movies. But that's for okay. that story. Lauren, can you I honestly have no idea. I'm trying, yeah, no, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Fast forward the video, the edit of <laughs> us trying to. Oh, that's not I don't canon. Though. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My <laughs> <That> least <laughs> favorite canon pairing is Ron and Lavender, just because Lavender is really yeah. annoying. Like, I'm sorry, she's just insanely annoying, and I would hate to have someone like that as my girlfriend or my boyfriend. So. There's so many Ginny pairings. I don't know. I don't really have like a. Can't think of one. No. Okay. There's not one that are. Like, that you like. <laughs> that sticks out to you that right. you don't really like that much. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, our least favorite head cannon couples, and that can be things like Hermione with Snape. Snape. God. Or Dumbledore. McGonagall. And McGonagall. Or That's okay. Harry oh wait, wait. What is that Petunia. one? What is that one weird fiction where it's like you can like find fix for like Dobby in the Sorting Hat or something? That's weird as f. I actually, I actually. I'll take this out of here. I'm too ashamed. <laughs> Canon or least favorite head cannon couple. Sorting out of the money. Oh my god. Uh, okay, hang on. Like at least like popular because <laughs> I know there's a lot of different pairings, but like the for the yeah. popular ships, I guess yeah. in the Harry Potter. I guess my least. See, I have a lot that I don't read, but I don't dislike. And then there's some that are just plain weird that I see. Like and Hermione like, and Sorting Hat. Like Hermione and Sorting Hat. But I guess my least favorite would have to be Snape and Hermione. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the same. Because people do it and they're like, that's disgusting. It's like yeah. 40. Yeah, and that's like a. Like, the age difference, like. It could be worse, I guess. Like the Asian Mr. King talks anybody with Snape, really. If he's if he's canon Snape in the stories, it's, it's just fun, weird to yeah. me. And really, Hermione with anybody except for Ron is just weird to me. Even Hermione and 
Hermione and Harry is weird to me. I don't. I only. I only see their like. It's like a bro TV, like a friendship. Yeah, but right. like J.K. Rowling was like, yeah, I kind of wish I made her go out with Harry. And, I'm just and like, I was just like, nah. stop killing my dreams. I was like, let my dreams be dreams. So yeah, I guess Snape and Hermione is my least favorite. Yeah, same. Like I'm not against like student teacher pairings people write about. But I it's just am. The- I am. If it's a student and a teacher, like. If it was a past student, then fine. But like, if you're like the teacher the of a student, a student, yeah, yeah, right now. Like, I mean, if you graduate, cool, do your own thing. Yeah. But as long as you're still in school, that's just fucking weird to me, and I'm pretty sure it's illegal. What is your favorite Harry Potter headcanon couple? Demis. Demis. I never seen any Demis. I hardly see any Demis. Mm. I know a lot of people ship them, but I just don't see a lot of things yeah. about it. Even the guy who played Seamus ships them. Yeah, yeah. Seamus. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Really. J.K. Rowling, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> and and one that I thought was really clever. Demon Umbridge and the Dementors. <laughs> oh my god! That's one of my yeah. favorites. Yes. Oh my god. The Imagination of the Mine is... Apparently quite popular with certain groups, but not as popular as, like, Harry and Hermione. It's Harry and Draco. Oh, oh, that's that's really popular. I'm I'm pretty sure I've read some Draco. See, I'm for, I don't know, like, I'm forever for Draco. What's happening? Sounds like Hum's making popcorn. Mm -hmm. Uh... I, if, yeah, I'm forever for Dreary. Draco as pretending to be like this Slytherin god, but like doesn't actually follow his father's beliefs, or them reconnecting afterwards, or being super cute. I just had like four fits today that were super long and I was in tears after all of them. So I was like, you guys are so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else to say about it? Least favorite thing about the movie adaptations? No, that's a whole. That's a whole other video. video. <laughs> that's a whole other video. He's still sucking. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's a whole other video. Like that, that'll go on. Unless you want this video to be an hour. Like, right. That's fine. I'm not editing this. Favorite movie in the book? <gasps> I don't really have a favorite movie, but I have a favorite book. Mm-hmm. I definitely have a least favorite book. Okay, just kidding, my favorite- no, I have a least favorite movie, just kidding, but I have a favorite book. My favorite book is the fifth one. Same, actually, uh, that's my favorite. That one, okay, the only reason I don't like the fifth one is because it made me a- really angry reading it. Because <laughs> Harry's so angsty and annoying. Yeah, and, pl- and plus yeah. Umbridge, and plus just like yeah. everything going on, it's just, See, uh, I'm a teacher, or I'm going to school to be a teacher. Me too! So I- ah, face. So I really liked the whole Dumbledore's army thing that Harry created with the help of everybody else and taught. And I really liked the scenes where he was teaching. And I thought, Mm -hmm. hey, as I'm reading this book, Harry would be a great Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher once they get this curse lifted. Then my hopes and dreams just shattered when he became more more war war up. I think he would still be a good horror, though. I don't see him as a horror. Really? Being a teacher? Yeah, because tangent, but Harry has spent his whole life battling demons. That's true. And he spent his whole Hogwarts life battling Voldemort. Mm-hmm. So why would he want to continue That's true. fighting That's those true. demons? That's true. I, just, I think he was really in his element once he, once he got into it with teaching. So yeah. I just see him as a teacher. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I like all of them. But the one that I watched the most and just gives like takes me back to my childhood is the fourth one. Cause I okay, here's the thing. We watched it so many times. Specifically the graveyard scene where we memorized every oh, single that line in the graveyard. by me when I was and younger. Me, oh, we loved it so much. Me, my sisters, and Katerina, my close friend, we all acted out the graveyard scene in front of our parents. Like, we made a whole play. We used a naked baby doll for Voldemort. And we, like, pull, pull, like poured him into a bowl as the cauldron. And we used markers as wands. And, like, my littlest sister, she was, like, probably, like, four or five at the time. We just had her be Cedric and lay dead the whole time. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It's just... I also love Cedric. Cedric is bae. Cedric did not die. 
for all the good Harry Potter merch. Fellow Hufflepuff to be Gryffindor and Slytherin. No offense to my favorite book is the fifth one. And I think my favorite movie is, I don't know, probably I guess the last one, just because I just remember, because it was only a few years ago, <laughs> going into the theater and just crying with my friends who I went with, because it was like, it's over. The thing that we went through in our childhood, like our yeah, huge book series, sense. is over. Like, I was like, me and my friends walked out, we were bawling our eyes out because of the epilogue, because we were crying, so it's like, it's finally over, and it's like, there's no more, well, it's so we thought. There's at least no more Harry Potter, Harry Potter things. I mean, now there's yeah. Fantastic Beasts. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, which I'm excited about, but um, yeah. it's not like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, so it's like, kind of yeah. like, our childhood has ended, almost, it felt like. So. It'll end in two years. Permanently. No. Favorite, favorite <laughs> character from the first Star Kid Harry Potter musical. I know mine. Who's yours? Okay. Well, I don't know. The one that just made me laugh the most was Snape. <laughs> Snape yes. was my favorite. Oh my god, Bay. Yeah. <laughs> what else going on here? <laughs> That's the second one, though. And just like his mannerisms and That's his talking. Just, yeah. That's the know. first one. It was too. hilarious. It was just, he, he's he really Well, not this part of it, but he yeah. did the devil. No, that was there, too. What the devil is going on here? <laughs> yeah, because I remember at the end, he said, what the hell's going on? Well, day shopper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't choose between two. I really like Voldemort because Joe Walker is Bay, and just I, I love the Voldemort. It's literally so perfect. But I also love Quirrell, so I mean, Quirrellmort, Quirrellmort, is it? Quirrellmort. That was my question. Quirrellmort for life. Yeah. Um, I'm my favorite. <laughs> okay. Okay. My favorite character from them. It's probably Mother Fluffin, Lauren Lopez. Dang. Yes! Yes! Draco yes. Malfoy. Did <laughs> someone say Draco Malfoy? And then, like, let's, like, roll <laughs> oh. and Lauren's character was probably my favorite throughout all three. Draco's, uh, I mean, yeah, she's yeah. amazing as Draco, honestly. Mm -hmm. Gold. And even Tom Felton said she was amazing as yeah, Draco. Yeah, Tom Felton did. Tom Felton did. That was a thing. Hmm. We'll bleep that one out for sure. <laughs> Definitely. We're not gonna bleep our other stories, but yeah. Yeah, don't no, bleep that one.